Hi everyone and welcome back. So let me get right into it. Today I want to talk about um, how being a single mom in the last two years shaped me, changed me and what I learned. Um, number one is get your family to help. There's nothing wrong in um, getting the help you need, in accepting the help. There's um, no fault at all from your side. If um, anyone is willing to help you, don't be proud. By all means, accept that help, whether it's your family, whether it's your friends, anyone who was around, because being a single mom can get overwhelming. You can feel like it's too much at times, but you can do it. I have full trust in you. So by all means, accept the help. It's worth it. Involve your children in your responsibilities um, because you as a family, you are a unit and you should accept help from your children and you should encourage them to help you. It's a very good and positive a trait that you can build in your children that they should be helping. There's nothing wrong in offering help and receiving help. So with a proper approach, your children can actually uh, learn to offer help themselves, which is a good thing. And it's, it's a good quality to have within your family circle. Uh, manage your finances carefully. I was always um, very careful with my finances, uh, even when I had a partner in my life. Being by myself in the last two years taught me that I need to be much more cautious when it comes to things I'm spending money on. As a parent and as a mother, of course you wanna make uh, sure your children have the best of the best and you tend to overspend money here and there. Don't, your children do not need 10 pair of uh, uh, jeans. Your children do not need 10 pair of tops. Especially I'm talking about toddlers. Um, they outgrow out of things so fast and you just end up throwing things away. And if it's only you that um, you can rely on financially, then you should be really careful on what you're spending your money on. And um, another thing that I learned in the last two years that there's so many people around you that had already, at least in my case, because um, my older children are already teenagers and I have two toddlers. Everyone uh, around me already kind of has big kids, but whoever just had kids, make sure you accept uh, those secondhand clothes from your friends and family. There's nothing wrong with that. If um, they have older children and they didn't get a chance to wear certain things, you can accept that. Your children are going to be more than happy to wear that to daycare. It doesn't matter to them. As long as they're comfortable, you don't need to be all fancy and dress them up. Unless you're going somewhere, it's always nice to have a nice outfit. But other than that, don't overdo it. Children really do not care what they wear as long as they're warm, dry, and comfortable. That is it. Trust me, I'm on my fourth child and I have some experience when it comes to that. Do not feel bad or sorry for yourself because you're a single parent. There's nothing wrong with that. There's plenty of women who are doing it all on their own, being single mothers, raising amazing children. So don't think that there's something wrong with you just because you are a single parent. Don't let your children see that in you because you need to be a strong person for them. They need to make sure that you are their backbone. You cannot always walk around in a bad mood and snap at your children. They pick on that vibe right away. It doesn't make them feel comfortable. They get anxious. They have sleep problems. It's not good for their health, for their mental health, for their future development, relationships. They're gonna think in the back of their head, oh, I shouldn't have children. That because God forbid, if I, I'm left to be a single parent, I'm gonna turn into my mother. So make sure when they think I wanna turn into my mother, that something positive comes to their mind, that you are an example. So set an example for your children. It's very important. I can uh, swear by that 100%. Um, it's like Rihanna said, fake it till you make it. So fake it. If you still don't feel that you're hundred percent there, fake it. It's either that or cry yourself to sleep. And who wants to do that? It's like you're envisioning uh, yourself, how you want to be in five years with your own business, being financially independent with good, healthy, mentally stable children and aim towards that goal. Make sure you are always perfecting yourself. There's nothing wrong with uh, being a perfectionist. I find it's a very good quality as long as you don't overdo it. Moderation. I believe in moderation. Do not get into another relationship right away. It's not worth it. You don't have the time. You are not emotionally there and your family is not emotionally there. A hundred percent. If you are a recent single mom or if it's been a year or a two, I find that um, 
it's for me it's been two years now that I'm a single parent almost two years I find that I don't have the time now to invest into a partner and um, I find that it would affect my children a hundred percent if I bring um, a new person into their life so before I do that and even if I will do that um, in future I want to make sure that my children are comfortable and okay with that and I do believe that you should count their opinion when it comes to picking your uh, future partner because they are part of the unity they're a part of the family and they should definitely have a say in it don't just bring anyone in your children's life they deserve the respect and they deserve to have an opinion um, just so, like you if you want to date someone and if you know that it's not gonna get any serious do not bring that person into their life you can always hire a babysitter and go in on your own time um, and meet someone but unless you're 100% ready and 100% convinced that this is the person you want to introduce to your children, do not bring every other uh, person that you meet into your children's life. Make sure you are emotionally available for your children, uh, mentally. Um, I find that at least my children, and I'm sure your children as well, they're very intuitive. They can feel and sense the slight change in your mood. So anything that you think that, oh, they didn't pay attention, they pick on um, slight differences in any kind of behavior that incorporates them and family and the way you treat them, the way, basically the way you feel, it's the way you treat other people and they are your people. So you should make yourself feel good so you can treat them good. Educate yourself when it comes to interacting with your children, whether it's a toddler, whether it's a teenager. Um, check my video right here. In that video, I'm talking about um, the books that inspired me. Uh, the books that taught me, that uh, gave me insight and gave me tricks and hacks on how to interact with children different ages. I really truly recommend it. Um, it's just like an overview of what I educated myself on. Teach your children how to help each other, how to um, be there for each other. They must understand that besides you, they have each other and it's fine for them to rely on their siblings. Because you wanna make sure that if you're not available, if you're not there, that they can pick up the phone or they can reach out to their siblings. I'm talking about older kids, obviously, not about toddlers. But it's, um, it's very important for them to be like a union. You guys are like a group of people. You guys are like a, a family that uh, goes and does everything together. So you should stick to that uh, module, I would say. Um, you should make sure that the way your children can rely on you, you can rely on them. For example, if I have something that came up and I need to leave the house and I know I have two uh, teenagers in the house and I have two toddlers, I can very easily uh, interrupt my teenagers and tell them, you know what guys, um, I need to step out. Can you, if the kids are sleeping, I just bring the monitor to their rooms. Can you watch them? If the kids are playing, just come upstairs. Um, they are um, interacting, they are within their zone, they're playing, just watch them. There's nothing wrong in asking your children for help. I'm not saying do it on a regular basis, but from time to time, here and there, you should definitely rely on your children because this teaches them a certain level of responsibility, that they are a part of a family, they're a part of a unit, and certain things are expected from them. There's nothing wrong with that. That teaches them how to take care of kids and when they have, and if they have children of their own, they'll have already certain experience, certain tricks, certain things that they know already about children. So don't feel shy in um, uh, asking your children for help. Uh, they are there, so you should take advantage of that. Another thing I wanna say about dating and bringing uh, a man into your children's life is that they have enough uh, male influence um, around them. They don't necessarily need to have a direct contact or a father figure in their life. Um, I'm sure you have friends who are men. I'm sure you have um, grandparents, uncles. Um, I read it somewhere, I'm not sure exactly, I'm gonna have to get back to you on that, but that uh, children, they need to feel male influence. It doesn't necessarily mean that they need a father, they just need to have male influence. And I'm, I was lucky, thank God I have my parents, I have my father who's an extremely uh, positive influence on my children because they are growing now without a father. So make sure you bring those people into your life just so you know that your children are getting certain interaction with men. Um, but don't rush into finding a father for your children just because you think that they need it on day-to-day -day basis. What your toddlers need, what your children need, is their mother, 
who is healthy, stable, um, educated, and there for them. Um, that's about it. That's all they need. <laughs> Besides that, they need to be fed and looked after, but that's on a different uh, note. Please stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be talking about um, why you should be ignoring your children. Not on a bad note, but you should be ignoring your children. Uh, to every yes, there should be three no's. Stay tuned and I'll see you next time.